Good morning. Welcome back, everybody. You know what? Why not do something different for dinner tonight? I do a lot of, of chicken in my house, and, you know, we do pot roasts and things like that. So sometimes you got to change it up, get out of that recipe rut. And I have to tell you, my husband, Bob, loves pork chops, and so do my kids. And I don't make them enough. So you know what? If they're on sale, why not make them stock up, you know, fire up the grill, do them outside with some barbecue sauce, or... This is my Nana, my great-grandmother, who lived to, uh, bless her heart, 104 years old and was cooking up just about until the end. This is her recipe. It's been a family recipe of mine for years. So we're starting out with some pork chops. For this recipe, you can go ahead and use the, the real thin ones or thick ones. It's up to you. I season them with a little bit of salt and pepper, and then I fried them up in the skillet with some butter or olive oil until they're done. And now I'm going to make a delicious gravy. It's going to soak up all those great pan juices. And it's as easy as one can of cream of mushroom soup and a cup and a half of milk. So I'm telling you, it's pork chops, salt and pepper. Fry them up in butter or olive oil. Season them real well. Sometimes I'll season them with Lowry salt instead of salt and pepper. But Nana did it with just salt and pepper. And what happens is... The drippings from the pork chops and that mushroom soup make the most delicious gravy. So we've all had the, the pork chops that were just a little bit dry. Well, there's two ways to solve that problem. One, don't overcook the pork chops, get a little bit thicker of a cut. Or number two, serve a sauce with those pork chops and then you'll have that gravy to make those pork chops extra juicy. So that's it. See how quick that is? The mushroom soup and the milk work together with the drippings on the bottom of that pan that the pork created. I'm using a real big skillet so those pork chops browned up nicely. And then I just put the pork chop, because this is what Nana did, right back into that gravy just to warm them a little bit and coat them with that wonderfulness. It's that simple. I told you this was an easy recipe. What do we serve this with at our house? I like to do it with um, buttered noodles or mashed potatoes. No, you don't have to make your own. You can pick them already. Real mashed potatoes up at the deli at Festival Foods. But we always did it, my family did it, with just hot buttered white rice. So that's how I'm going to do it this morning. Talk about quick and easy. And make sure and watch my show today. We're living in love today. Make sure and get lots of that gravy. We've got some great tips for people who are getting married or if you know someone who is. And just some fun recipes, too, like my Italian wedding soup. Hey, come on out and see me in Shano. I'm at Books and Beans on Saturday morning. Come have coffee with us. It's going to be a, a ton of fun. And uh, you know me, I'm always cooking, even on the weekends. This weekend, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm doing a stuffed roasted whole chicken. Real easy thing to do and uh, feeds the whole family. Stuffing's right in there. It's just delicious. Maybe garnish this with some parsley. These pork chops are so big, I think uh, one would do it for me, but Bob may have two. There you go. It's Nana's pork chop recipe with that mushroom gravy. Even people who don't like mushrooms like this one, I promise you. Pete would like this. I'm going to bring him one, see if he does. Recipes on our website. You can also pick it up at any festival foods. Stay with us because Pete and Rachel will be right back.